OJ Lopez, and you've made it to the Fluid Motor Union YouTube channel. Today, we've got a 2008 Aston Martin DB9 with kind of a common problem. The convertible top not only was not working, but when driving, we would have a bunch of lights flash on the dash, traction control, a whole bunch of different messages. What it ended up being was that the top modules that control the, the tonneau cover, this guy back here, got wet. And the way they got wet, and I'll show you here, through this kind of common, but regular issue. You see the window glass there has a bigger gap than it should. What was going on was water was getting into the motors for the tonneau cover. Those then cause a problem for the convertible top module. And the convertible top module is on the can line and that just threw a whole bunch of faults and caused a whole bunch of issues. So we got that all repaired. The tonneau cover works good. The convertible modules that operate the top, we cleaned those out, we repinned those, we cleaned off the corrosion and we got new motors in there. But now the issue we're having is when the top goes up, this glass is flopping around. And even though we now have drainage holes inside of the area for the box, water's still gonna get down there and this glass might hit something when it's moving the top up and down. So we've gotta find a way to reseal this. Now keep in mind, I'm not a convertible top expert on upholstery, on you know getting the cloth back on this thing. And the customer's already spent a bunch of money trying to get this thing fixed. So I'm trying to come up with something that we can get this window glass sealed up for a low buck that is gonna keep it sealed and keep that thing from hitting when it operates. So here's what I came up with. We're gonna be doing this with Gorilla Glue 3M masking tape. I'm gonna use Brake Clean to clean off the old seals. I've got a jack, and the only thing I'm missing from this picture are the clamps that I'm gonna be using to hold the glass in place so the glue sets and dries. And that's about it. Uh, oh, the uh, the energy drink, it's gotta be uh, Rockstar, uh, what is that? Blue Raz, um, cause that's, you know, the worst tasting flavor and you need, to, you need to have some energy and be angry when you're doing this job. So first things first, we gotta get the top up into a position where I can clamp it and glue it, right? And when you key on, the top will stay up in the position you leave it, but when you key off, the hydraulics lose their pressure and it'll start to fall down. So that's where I'm gonna be using the uh, prop to keep the top up so that way I can put the clamps on there and get it set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the position I need it. So brake clean is pretty nasty stuff. You really shouldn't be using it on the top, but um, it does a pretty good job at getting rid of films, adhesives, and we've got a little adhesive left. Now I really don't need to get it clean and I'm not gonna be redoing this whole top. I'm just gonna be trying to get this corner sealed up pretty much as far in as I can get up here because when water hits the top, it's gonna roll down. So you wanna get anywhere that the water be rolling down into. So uh, I'm using brake clean just because it's gonna do a fast job. It's not necessarily the best job and I'm not gonna spray it on the window. I'm gonna spray it on a rag and then rub it just to kind of prep the area, so. Now there are specific epoxy removers, um, adhesive removers, things you could use um, that will do a good job on this. I'm just using brake clean because it's here. I don't need anything special. Um, don't need to order anything special, I have it. It's gonna work. Now that I got the adhesive pretty much prepped, um, like I said, it's not all off, it's just dry to the touch. It doesn't feel sticky when I grab it. Uh, I'm gonna be using a little glass cleaner here just to clean up the window because I'm gonna be masking both sides around this seal. On top of the convertible top, on the fabric here and then along the glass in case any of the glue kind of bubbles out or gets on something. Um, I really don't want to get it on the top. And the idea here is just to get rid of any of the glue that was more or less thinned or melted by the, uh, the brake clean. 
so that way the tape actually sticks. But if you were to just use glass cleaner from the get-go, it wouldn't get through that uh, adhesive at all. So. So I'm gonna be using Gorilla Glue for two reasons. One, I know it works, and two, because we did all this work and had it set, before we figured out that the window glass was flopping around, and obviously we saw it doing that before we moved the top, but once the top was moving, we realized this could potentially be an issue, and it might at some point slam into the back here, crack the glass. So we had to get the top working, and once we got the top working, we had already spent so much diagnosing, repairing, and fixing this that I really don't want to be having to burden the customer by sending this thing out to a convertible top shop and trying to get this sealed up because I don't know what that's going to end up costing them. I do know that this stuff's cheap and that's partially the reason I'm going to use it. Um, there are some concerns though, right? Uh, Gorilla Glue uh, hardens with moisture. So when I put it on, it's not gonna necessarily grab right away. Once it hardens, it uses the moisture out of the air and that kind of sets the glue, but it becomes really hard to get off. So um, I gotta be careful with it and anywhere it gets on, it's probably gonna rack. So because it's not necessarily convertible top glue, I'm gonna be ultra careful. It's going to be light and consistent with the application just in the areas I need, but it has to be consistent. So um, on the convertible top fabric itself though, if I use too much, it might actually bleed through and have darker areas. So that's why I gotta go light. Lastly, this thing kind of will bubble up. I don't know if any of you guys have used Gorilla Glue at home before, but once it starts setting, it'll come out between the cracks and it'll kind of have this hard area with a bunch of bubbles on it that um, you know may or may not be a problem depending on what you're applying it to. That's why I have the tape on there. I should be able to peel it off and or cut it off with a razor blade if it bleeds out. So if you're doing this at home um, and if the customer was paying, I probably would use a specific product. But because we're trying to do this as a, um, a way to help the customer out after you know, spending so much time and energy and money trying to get this thing fixed. I kind of had to think of a quick way that I know would hold and seal this thing up, but wouldn't cost him or me much money, right? So uh, basically I'm gonna put this into a little container and I'm gonna use a brush and then something to spread it out where the old seal was, right? Um, and again, we're dealing with an Aston Martin, so be careful where you're dripping this stuff and how you're putting it on. So to clamp this, the idea is that we want to push this area where we glued the convertible fabric with the old seal to the glass, and we want it to sit for as long as it needs to set the grill loop. So um, I'm gonna be using a vice grip. Um, it's actually a little heavy and a little overkill for what you need for this. I've got that prop really well set in there, so I'm not too worried about the glass moving. I just have to be careful with how hard I push this down so I don't crack or chip or break the glass. Um, I shouldn't know because there is an old seal on here. Um, the way the seal actually was, was actually Velcro that was 
more or less double-sided stick taped to the convertible top fabric. Um, the Velcro on one side became, uh, basically lost its epoxy and that's how the water started getting in there. I don't want to rip this all off because if I do, I'm going to be creating another world of problems that uh, I can't not charge the customer for. So again, this is a quick fix. I'm not charging the customer for it, but um, I still you know, want it to look good and I don't want to break anything, right? And make this worse for myself. So uh, I'm going to be putting a few of these vice grips along here. The idea is that um, without marring the fabric, I'm going to be clamping this to the glass and that'll allow the glue to set and dry. clamp set. What I'm going to do for this last area with this area tight, I'm going to be putting something heavy on here to kind of keep that flat on the edge of the glass. And then I'll clamp down whatever little areas pop up over here. I'm going to be putting a rag on here, but you just want to make sure that wherever the rag is going to be touching, it's not touching glue. So that way you're not peeling off glue and stuck on rag if it sets. So like I said, on this corner, I've got a prop underneath here to keep it from touching. It's nice and flat. So all in all, I think we found a pretty easy way to get this top sealed up in order to keep it from leaking into the back modules ever again. Now, because I didn't feel comfortable doing this on an Aston Martin originally, we didn't even have to charge the customer. So I'd say it's a win-win on all fronts, right? But if you need help with this or any other Aston problem, any other leaking convertible top problem, well, you know where to go. Fluid motor, you didn't hear in Naperville. I'm OJ and that's all for today. Thanks a bunch.